That's right. Welcome, everybody, to Math 115, College Algebra Online. And that song is just an inspiration to um, to give you my philosophy of um, this course. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure all of you succeed. And I hope that you do the same to make sure that you will succeed yourself. So today we're going to be looking at the Getting Started module. And in this module, um, we're going to be looking at two major components. One is the getting to know the course, and the second is the getting to know you folder. Um, this is kind of how the layout of all the getting started materials are. This is the assignments that will be due the first couple of weeks will be held. Um, you're going to notice that as we move throughout the semester, you're going to see on the left-hand side where getting started is, you're going to notice that other modules are going to open up. And they're all formatted this way, where there's that Towson Gold, navigation menu on the top left there's a coffee lounge menu on the top right and then everything below it um, will be information for you to read some of which will be assignments for you to complete as well but everything will be housed in this area um, so we're going to take a look at that Towson Gold navigation link where you found this video to begin with um, we're not going to spend too much time here because I'm not going to read to you but um this is just letting you know what this module is about, kind of the expectations, what are the goals of this module, and so forth. So um, so we're going to, I just wanted to give you this information, let you know that it was here, remind you about it, and you will always want to read that Towson Gold link before doing anything in a module. The Coffee Lounge link is a link that will allow you to um, re respond to each other's questions, post questions to me, or your classmates, but re be reminded that um, this is a place that everyone can see. So you don't want to be posting things out there about your grade or that, you know, maybe you need an extension on an assignment and you're, you know, running into a bind. This is not the place to do it. You'd want to email me about that. But anything that you think others may benefit from, this is the place to do it. Also, you may find other people have asked questions and so this would be the place to look before asking it. Um, there's also a spot in just this getting started module. It won't be throughout the rest of the course, but um, just in this coffee lounge in particular where you guys can exchange social media information. And I believe I posted mine as well. Yep. So mine is there for you as well. Not saying that I need any more followers, not saying you do either, but it's, I think it's just a nice way for us to connect um, through various forms of social media because that's kind of where we're all moving towards. Um, in terms of you know how we connect so um, you don't have to add me I don't have to add you um, but this is just a place for us to collaborate now um, keep in mind obviously if you have only a personal account to these items and you find that you're posting things that you may not want your peers in a class or me as your instructor to see but you still want to participate in these kind of optional discussions on social media then you may want to you know maybe make a specific social media account that's professional um so that way you can utilize it because it's going to be important probably as you move through courses grad school um your future that you're going to want to have a professional sort of social media account um at least at social media you know um professional twitter i meant so that way you can um communicate you know through through professional avenues and i get the whole you know you want to have a you know personal one as well but just a side note i don't want to see um johnny with a beer pong i'm just saying okay so you're warned now if you share that and that's what's out there um i will ask that everyone else not follow that specifically for this course remember that's not the intent of us doing this i just wanted to throw that out there um, so going back to the getting started module, um, so we're going to go to getting to know the course first. Um, you're going to notice that there are items in black and there are items in green. So the items that are in black are the items that will give you information about this module. Um, they may be lessons, they may be just information, readings, and, um, those will be the links that you're going to want to view in order to successfully do what's in green. And the green will always be things to submit for a grade. So always for every single module, the colors are consistent. So, you know, maybe that will help you. 
So I'm not going to spend too much time diving into these resources, but I will give you a glimpse of what they all are. So Blackboard Student Orientation, that is going to be a place for you to watch a PowerPoint presentation of Blackboard. Some of us have made, taken a um, course online before, so know kind of all the features of Blackboard, but some of us have not. I would strongly recommend, regardless of you know how new you are to Blackboard, to go ahead and skim that video because there is a Blackboard orientation quiz. So they are kind of linked together in means of that information you're going to find in that orientation is going to come up on that quiz. So it's good to kind of refresh yourself and be ready for it. Now that Blackboard orientation quiz, you have unlimited attempts until the due date. So you can you know do it again in case you get one wrong. But um, but just be mindful that if it's been a minute or, you know, it was kind of the winter break. Some of us had classes, unfortunately, but some of us didn't. And so you may want to refresh yourself. Um, going over to the online class procedures link. So this link will give you information on email etiquette, how to submit assignments, where to check your grades, professionalism, professional writing information, um, how to name your documents when you're submitting them. All that kind of fun stuff, right? So this will be in that procedures quiz that is also um, in green at the bottom. And you will be able to take that unlimited times as well. Um, but again, you, you want to read that information. Obviously, it says syllabus. So you're going to want to make sure you read the syllabus as well, which is on that left-hand panel. Um, we're going down to the Spence Tutoring Center link. That is a link that's going to bring you to Towson's Math Center for tutoring. Um, on that link... Um, you will just have access to the hours of which you can go and get tutoring um, if you want to do that. There's a course calendar. I am going to click on that because I think it's cool. So this is not the typical Blackboard calendar. What this is, is this is a um, Google calendar if you're not familiar with it, and it's live. So um, at any point in time when I say this due date is changed, I can easily update it here. No ifs, ands, or buts. Um, the other piece is that... Um, like I said, it's live, so it is always correct, and this is the calendar we're using throughout the entire semester. There is a PDF that lists all of the events on the calendar. Um, and so the cool thing about this is that you can check the days off as you go and say, yes, I did all these items. So the first big date that you have things that are due are on Thursday, January 31st. So you're going to see you got four things due that day. You can check them off as you go. I thought that was kind of cool. Use it if you want. You don't have to. Again, just another resource I'm providing to you. Um, so this is live directly in Blackboard, which I thought was cool. All right. So we have finished the getting to know you materials, um, with the exception of the TU resources. And um, this is just links that will take you to different web pages on various resources that Towson offers, such as the Writing Center or Disability Server um, Services. Excuse me. Um, there is distance learning information. So just in case you need resources, you don't have to click on every single link. Um, it's just there. You won't be tested on this specific, this specific link, but it is there for you in case you need it. Okay. Um, so we talked about the Blackboard orientation quiz. That's with the Blackboard orientation. We talked about the syllabus and procedures quiz. Now I'm going to click on the Skype account. So this is going to be a grade. It's not necessarily something you have to use, but you do have to follow these steps. Um, so again, not trying to get extra followers on Skype or anything, but this is just another option in case you want to communicate via Skype or, you know, some conversations are better had face to face depending upon the situation. So, um, I'm asking that you add me. I'm giving you points to add me. This is just so that way we can communicate with each other and we don't have to go through that step of adding each other. Um, so it's just easier to get all of the busy work out the way in advance. So something really easy. If you don't have a Skype account, it is free. You can sign up for it. There's a directions link there for you on how to do that. But um, I don't care if you don't want to use it and you don't want to use it after the semester. That's fine. But um I just thought that was just another opportunity for us to build community. Um, so going back out to the Getting Started folder, we're going to go to the Getting to Know You. There are three things there. The first one is the information survey. In this information survey, you're going to notice that there are um, blanks for you to fill out. Um, it's a survey, and what's going to happen is there are some red asterisks next to some fields and there are no asterisks next to some fields because you may not want to share information with your peers like you may not want to share your cell phone number 
and you may not want to get text messages and you may not want to share your social media. All of that is fine. You don't have to do that. But notice that, that your last name, your first name, your Towson email is all public information. So anyone that belongs to the Towson community, students, faculty, whomever can get that information. So um, just be mindful that those fields are required. But there is, a, you know, like I said, cell phone number, Skype, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever the case may be, you can share whatever you want. You can share um, at the end what you want to share with each other, well, your peers and myself. That's all fine, well and good. But you're going to get credit for submitting this survey. And what's going to happen is all of this data is going to export into a um Excel file that I will then upload for everybody to have access to everyone's contact information throughout the entire semester. And what's going to happen is throughout the semester, there's going to be various group work assignments. Yes, I know. Get your groans out now um, throughout the semester. And you're going to probably want easy access to some of your peers' information to contact them, to begin working on some of those projects ahead of time. Um, so this would be a good way to do that i was just kind of thinking ahead um so that's that um going back out to getting to know you going to this synchronous poll what this is this is a doodle poll of your availability for the next week and what will happen is you will simply type your name and then check off only i can see this not nobody else you will check off the dates and times that are listed here for when you are available to do kind of a um, face-to-face Q&A session. Um, what's going to happen is Judo Poll will tell me the time and the date that one, basically the time, the date that most people are, are available. And from there, I will send out information for a Blackboard Collaborate session. And we can all join at the same time, ask questions with each other, and um, talk things through in case we all need to... Uh, get some you know more information on, on a particular assignment that's coming up how to navigate something in the course um, so this will just be a good way again for us to build community and to um, make sure we're all on the same page again the judo polls required attending the online session through blackboard collaborate is not required but filling out the, the poll is required and will be a great okay um, and then we had the video introductions. This is probably the, the thing that's going to take you a little bit more time than the rest of it. Um, so I left the best for last. Um, this is a video introduction of yourself. We're going to be using Flipgrid. Um, very easy to navigate for this assignment. And that's where you will post your video introduction. So you're going to make a video, less than five minutes. You're going to introduce yourself, tell us why you're at Towson. Tell us some interesting things about yourself, what's your favorite food, what you do for Christmas, things like that. Um, and then from there, um, you'll just upload it to Flipgrid. So take note that when you go to Flipgrid, it's going to ask you to you know, either put in your Google information or your Microsoft information. Your Microsoft information is your school information. So I'm going to attempt... Um, to log in if it will let me because I'm using my iPad that's the only reason so it's going to say like it's taking me to my organization's page so it took me to um, my Towson page um, now I have to do this crazy thing where I say yes I want to log into my organization you may not have to go through all this, but Towson's like really secured with faculty. Um, so anyway, so this, it will take you to this introduction video, Jimmy Fallon, anybody? Um, directions are there again at the top. And simply all you're going to do is tap that green plus sign. And when you do that, it will bring up kind of a, um, it will look like you're video chatting with somebody face to face. Um, so you can do that directly from your tablet, directly from your computer, your phone, even and just record or you can record the video let's say you know that you are just out and about and you like oh wait i need to record this video i want to get the video done you can record the video on your camera and just make sure it's under five minutes and then just hit the plus sign and we'll give you the option to upload it just be mindful that it will take longer to upload something than it will just to hit the green button and record it in that moment. 
So you may want to just go ahead and record um, from the Flipgrid app, okay? Um, so pretty straightforward. It should not take very long um, to create. Um, once you do that, you will have submitted all of your getting started assignments um, and you would have met all the due dates for getting started. So that's really cool. Um, please make sure that if you have any questions, you go to the coffee lounge and you post them there unless they are individual questions. Um, just some other things I want to point out to you on the left hand side. Um, announcements. There's an announcements page. That's kind of the home page of the course. Um, you'll get an email every time I send an announcement. My information is here in case you need it. Gives you my office hours, um, social media again, a bio of myself, the syllabus for the class is here. Again, the link, oops, the link to the calendar is here um, that you saw. I give you a glimpse of this already. Grades, um, this is where you can check your grades for the course. Course content will be the modules that will be released when it says so on the calendar. And then there's just some information on um, the variety of tools that you may want, the textbook, some other resources, and then if you need help, um, support from Towson, the help desk support. All right, so um, I think I've made this video long enough. I am going to um, let you leave you to it, but um, please let me know if you have any questions. Post it on the Coffee Lounge, send me an email, and looking forward to a great semester with you all. Thank you.